the newly revamped Thunderbelt is here. From turning Leila into a true tank to finally making Olders the true one punch man. Hi. It can do a load of things. So after shooting Geelong a million times, I bring you this video. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we are going to take a look at all the heroes who can benefit the most from all new Thunderbelt. So what's the wait for? Let's just get straight into the video. Before I start, let me explain how the new Thunderbelt works. The new Thunderbelt now gives 800 HP, 20 physical defense, 20 magic defense and plus 20 movement speed. And its new passive now deals extra 2 damage every 4 seconds whenever you use a basic attack. Whenever you deal that true damage, you gain a stake which grants you plus 1 hybrid defense and extra 2 damage. Pretty simple, right? The interesting thing is the amount of maximum stakes we can gain is 9999. What? Yes, 9999. Which means we get a lot of damage and stakes. So we are going to take 15 heroes and see what all the interesting stuff we can do. And just to remind you, you can't do any of this in a real game. Because it took me 20 minutes to reach 9999 stakes after putting down at least 40 damage boards. Since you know everything that you are supposed to know, let's just get straight into the video. Okay. The first hero we have to try Thunderbelt on will be Edith. Edith is going to be a wonderful hero with Thunderbelt. As her passive is just going to work wonders with the amount of physical defense she will gain from just Thunderbelt. So here it is, 9999 stakes. I am excited to see how much damage she is going to deal. Wow, just look at that. Just one shot, even though Leila has so much HP. Damn. Now let's see what creep she can one shot. As expected, all the small creeps are just one shot. Now let's set to our big guns. Lord, this is too funny. She is dealing so much damage and the best part is that she is consistent. Since we have so much magic power, how much magic damage will our flame shot deal? Wow, 11k. Just look at how much HP it is eating away at Lord and Turtle. Nice. Let's test out the turrets because she deals consistent damage. Wow, one shot turret. Yes, they are all going down in just one shot. Man, this is too funny. Edith is going to be broken because Pandora's box also benefits her plus this new Thunderbelt. Irma Ben, Edith is incoming. The true damage is truly insane. Now let's move on to another hero I really want to try with the new Thunderbelt, our Johnny boy. Guys, please subscribe. I literally spend 20 minutes for every hero trying to get 9999 stakes. So as expected, Jonathan is doing a load of 2 damage. His spawner is not just spawner anymore, it's a bomb. And in some cases, a new. It's so peaceful walking around one shooting creep. Guys, this is good therapy session. You should try it. You guys should do it. Now let's check how much shield he is going to get when his passive activates since his shield scales with defense. Damn. It looks like Johnson won't die even if you drop a nuke on him from now on. Next, let's check out a hero whom we usually build Thunderbelt on, Mr. Clint. Damn, this thing takes too long. Two hours later. Oof, it's finally here, 9999 states. So was waiting 20 minutes worth it, well let's see. Clint, I thought you used a gun. But the damage you are dealing looks like it's coming from a tank. All creeps are just one shot. I know I basically wasted a lot of time doing this video because there is no way you can farm so many stakes. But guys, don't we all need a break from all the stressful stuff? Hey. 
And while doing this video, I realized the best way to relieve stress is shooting Geelongs a million times. Why are you bullying me? And dropping nudes on creeps and Leila. <laughs> Jokes aside, nothing really can stand in front of Clint. Even Geelong is having a hard time just trying to damage him. And let me remind you, he has a full build. This is what he usually does when he has a full build. But now look at what he is doing. <laughs> Next, let's move on to Jazz. Guys, if you didn't know, Jazz spawn can trigger Thunderbelt's passive. Yes, it can do it. So let's get to 9999 stakes and see all the mischief we can do. LOL Looks like all Jask needed to conquer the Land of Dawn was a new Thunderbelt. Just look at this insanity. All creeps cannot even approach him. Continue the feast. <coughs> After playing around more, I think Jask spawn might deal more damage than Jask. It looks like all the spawns have infinite stake. So in game, if you somehow keep the spawn in one place, it will do a lot of damage. The damage also transfers when you use his ultimate. If you think about it, Thunderbelt is going to be a really good item for Jask because the damage, the slow and survivability will only benefit him in a positive way. And the slow you are going to get from Jask spawn is just going to be too much. So Jask beta, who knows? Let's move on to our next hero, Brody. You don't really build Thunderbelts on Brody, but I just wanted to see if we can become God with it if we do. And with Maximus stakes, we can also kind of guess if it will be viable for him. So Maximus stakes are here. Let's see what all we can do. Play the music editor. I am not a king, I am not a god. I feel like a god. Everything in the path is just getting destroyed like it's nothing. Lord, you are not the Lord. I am the Lord. Turtle, you are nothing to me. Layla, I guess you are used to this. Let's now answer the important question. Will Thunderbelt be good for Brody? Yes, because of the passive of Thunderbelt really suits Brody. And you usually build Endless Battle on him. With Endless Battle, it will be really good item. Let's move on to our next hero, Leslie. I want to snipe Lord, so let's not waste time and start sniping. Sometimes I wish I had powers to control time, but you do with the power of my editors. Sniper Leslie is here. She has been trained for a very long time shooting at Jillo. So let's test on a real Jillo. He couldn't last long. That's what she said. <laughs> And now let's test on other creeps. Yeah, as I thought, they were dead before we knew it. It takes three Thunderbolt shots to kill Lord. Look at Jilong trying his artist to kill me while I buy items. Why are you bullying me? Jilong, man, shut up. Let's go see if we can create. No, I guess we can't. It's a shame. I wanted to see 100k damage, but it's fine. Let's move on to another interesting hero, Sun. Die. 
can we get the myth accurate sun if we get to 9999 stakes well of course we do not only does the thunderbolt specific trigger on sun but it also triggers on all of his clones and he is also unkillable like the myth seeing the hp of lord melting away as soon as you use his third skill i think we have had enough fun with sun let's move on to alders I thought of something evil. Let me also get Alders to 650 stakes. A little longer than a few minutes later, and we have our maximum stakes, Alders. What can we do? Let's see. Play the intro editor. One Punch Man is here, and Alders is literally killing everything and everyone with just one punch. Let's see if we can kill Lord with one punch. Nope. Looks like he can't. Maybe he is a two punch man. Maybe three punches. Or four. Who knows? Let's see the turtle. Damn. The amount of damage he deals. Isn't it crazy? Enough of one punch man. Let's move on to Claude. Can we decimate everyone with Claude's ultimate? Nah, we can't. Thunderbolt gets one or two, but his ultimate ends before we can get everyone. Isn't this a disappointment? Whatever it is, while tasting, I did find something interesting. Dexter's clone. Looks like it can trigger the passive of Thunderbolt. It's not really useful, but it's funny seeing Mirror Monkey on the ground, sitting and shooting bombs on everyone. With Claude done, let's move on to another hero, Lolita. Do we have the world's most powerful bomb? Yes, we do. Look at Lolita just wonking everyone out of existence. We can't really trigger the Thunderbelt passive on her ultimate. I wish we could have. But let's move on to the next hero I really want to check out, Purple and Koopa. Can the Poopa trigger the passive of Thunderbelt? Yes, he can. And the best part is, he doesn't even need to reach the target. The first skill itself kills the most of the targets. Since you are so far into the video, I bet you already know the drill. So I won't bother showing you all the creeps. But let's see how long it takes to kill Lord and the Turtle. I mean, that's what we expected. Since Popol and Koopa is done, let's move on to another hero, Argus. Can Argus trigger Thunderbelt's passive with his second skill? Yes, he can. But with Thunderbelt's passive, it looks like Argus has finally harnessed the true power of his sword. Lord, the turtle, three, all go down really fast. With Argus done, let's test out another hero whose second skill counts as a basic attack, Silvana. With Thunderbolt passive, it looks like we can penetrate almost anyone. The damage she deals with this is crazy, and she also looks cool while doing it. And Thunderbelts will be a great item for Silvana as soon as it comes. Guys, slow but surely, Silvana is coming back to the middle. 
Let's get Beatrix and see how much chaos she can cause with all her weapons. We have our stakes. Let's see how many Nibiru bullets it takes to take down this Leila with a full Guardian helmet. Damn, just like we thought, just a couple of them. Hey there, double kill runner. Next, let's check the sniper. -like. And wow, Leslie, it looks like Legendary. your spot as a sniper is in danger. Let's see the shotgun and how much damage it deals. Legendary. Now that's what you call a shotgun. Always one generation ahead of you. Legendary. And finally, let's use the bomb. Legendary. It looks like Double Beatrix kill. no longer uses Bennett. She uses an intercontinental ballistic missile. Legendary. Look at the damage. After seeing that, I say it was worth it for me to sit and stare at the phone for 20 minutes. I wish her ultimate could trigger the passive, but it's fine, I had fun regardless. Now that everyone is done, let's move on to the final hero of this video, Layla. Can Layla become a true tank? Can the meme become real? Can she exist? Well, we have to wait 20 minutes to find out. <laughs> Two hours later. Guys, she is real. The tank Leila is real. She is so real that she is like a real tank. She has a long range, a lot of damage and impenetrable defense. Since it's the end of the video, I wanted to test one thing. The two tank Leila versus everyone. So which other hero do you want the new Thunderbelt on? Are you going to be using this item on every hero? Do you think this item is broken? Comment down all your answers below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.